Hey girlfriends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today I will be addressing the Diva Curl scandal as it's now being known as. If you guys haven't heard, there is a huge controversy going on right now claiming that Diva Curl products are making people's hair fall out, it's making their curl patterns non-existent, and it's also giving people very bad scalp issues. Now I know I am pretty late to the party when it comes to making a video about this, but as many of you know, I was a little busy being pregnant. This news like really went viral the weekend I was due. So thank you for your patience and allowing me to push a human out of my body and also get acclimated to the mommy lifestyle, which is very <laughs> full time. And I also didn't wanna just come on and rush a video. I like to take time to do my homework and take notes and research. So I actually have, you know, some valid points to talk about in my video. And also the most important thing is to find a solution for the things that have already happened. Now let me start off by saying I am a curly hair influencer. That means I make videos based off of the things that I use. And if I genuinely like them, I will share them with you to hopefully help someone else watching. That's pretty much all there is to it. If I like something, I am happy to let you guys know so that you could have the same results that I do. I am not a certified stylist, I am not a scientist, and I don't work for Diva Curl. But I am someone that was an avid Diva Curl product user, and I was a Diva Curl brand ambassador, and I am someone that actually cares about the health of your hair. So there's that. So if you automatically are not going to respect my opinion because I'm not one of those things, feel free to go watch those videos instead, instead of commenting being mad that I'm not one of those things when I just told you that I'm not. Okay, let's begin. So I'm gonna give you my opinion, but I'm also going to tell you all the other theories from other people, including the YouTube doctors, the YouTube stylists, and the victims that have been affected, and some other information from my personal curly influencer friends. So it wasn't until I talked to some of my very close influencer curl friends that I really started to believe all this was going on. And one of the first people I talked to was actually Hi Felicia. As you guys know, Hi Felicia is one of the top, if not the top Diva Curl brand ambassadors. She used their products religiously way before even being a curly hair influencer, I think was a thing, just completely loyal to the brand. And when I talked to her, she was telling me she was having some serious issues with her hair and her scalp. And even she, like many of the other people in that Facebook group, thought she was just crazy or alone or was doing something wrong. Now, if you know Hi Felicia, you know that she is so adequate with her curly hair routine. Like she does all the things I know I should be doing, but I'm too lazy to do them. Like she has her oil concoctions and she mixes her deep conditioners. Like she puts so much energy and effort into her hair. So I know confidently that this is not a human error because this is someone who definitely knows how to take care of her hair. So much so that she's actually in school now to become a licensed hairstylist, like learning the science behind everything. So I completely trust her when she says that something isn't right. And this isn't just because she doesn't clarify her hair well enough or because she used Diva Curl for too long. Like, no, this is someone who does use different products and just really knows how to take care of her hair. Now she hasn't made her video yet. So I don't want to speak too much for her because that's her business and she has her own story to tell. But thankfully she did allow me to bring her up in this video and share some of her photos even before she does. Um, so yeah, so if you don't know who she is, this is her amazing before picture using Diva Curl products. But recently in 2019, she used Diva Curl consistently for a good amount of time and that's when she started noticing her hair was changing. And now her hair looks like this, completely different. This is not someone who doesn't know how to apply product this is not someone who doesn't know how to style their hair. This is like a curly hair expert, if you will. And she's having these issues. So if she thinks that this could possibly be Diva Curl, that's a huge deal. 
for influencers, it's more than just throwing away a couple bottles for us. This is now ruining a relationship with a brand that we have such a strong connection to. And Felicia definitely does, which I know she's gonna share with you in her own video. So when I saw those photos, that's when I was like, okay, I'm a believer, something's up. Coincidentally, I think maybe a week later, I got an email from Diva Curl and they were asking me to do another brand deal. They wanted, you know, an Instagram picture, YouTube video using some of their products. This was some bad timing for them to write me because that wasn't about to happen. So I will read you my email to them, which was on January 29th. I said, thank you for your offer, but I am on maternity leave right now, so I'm not making any beauty content at the moment, which was true. But regardless, to be completely honest, I would be uncomfortable promoting Diva Curl due to the controversy going around. I haven't released a statement about anything yet because I want to get a better understanding as to why the hair loss problem is happening first. Because of my strong involvement in the curly hair community and my past relationship with Diva, it is my responsibility to make people aware of these concerns. If you have some more insight to share, I'd love to hear why this is happening and your plan to fix the issue moving forward. I'd really hope that Diva Curl would release a public statement or recall before things get worse. I do plan to speak on this issue at some point, but I would love to hear from you first. Thank you for your time. So this was January 29th. Then they basically followed up saying that they wanted to hop on a call to discuss everything. But then my good friend, curl friend Aisha, posted her now viral video talking about the Diva Curl drama on January 31st. I didn't even know she was having issues like this. I knew we both kind of felt some type of way about Diva Curl because we both just weren't really hearing from them anymore, but I didn't know that she was going through all of these severe issues with her hair. And she posted this video literally two days after I just talked to Diva Curl about the issue. And then that's when everything blew up. But that was January 31st. My due date for my baby was February 1st. So it just literally couldn't have been, you know, a worse time for me personally to where I couldn't drop everything to make a video like I usually would. So now this is two of my really good friends with honestly some of the most perfect curls you have ever seen. And now they both are suffering from hair loss and just a ruined curl pattern. I really do believe that something is up with the products. One of the main products that I saw mentioned in the Facebook group was the Diva Curl No Poo, the original and the decadence, as well as their conditioner. So it looks like they're cleansers, but I really think the No Poo is probably like the biggest possible culprit here. So stylists believe that it's because people aren't shampooing their hair like they should. If a No Poo isn't doing a good job at clarifying your scalp, Therefore, you're getting a lot of product buildup on your scalp, which could then, you know, close everything off and then it's going to stop hair growth and can eventually lead to hair loss. Okay, it is possible. Now, I would say you're to blame if you're bleaching your hair, you're changing the color every month, you're straightening it all the time, then I'd be like, well, <laughs> you asked for it, honey. But... I really can't blame someone for spending the extra dollar to purchase one of the top curly hair products and then consistently using it. How is that a problem? You bought a, a, a product that is claiming to clean your scalp and you paid a lot of money for it. I don't think that's something that you should be you know, punished for. Some people are saying it's because you are only using Diva Curl products and you shouldn't be only using one thing for too long. Okay, I kind of get that as well. I think more that way with my skincare, for example. If I use a skincare line for too long, I think eventually my skin just gets used to it and then I start breaking out again and it's just like over it and it's not effective anymore. If you're using only Diva Curl products, I think, if anything, your hair might just not look as good as it used to. Maybe it's not reacting the way it used to. Maybe your hair is just over it but it shouldn't be falling out. It shouldn't be changing your curl pattern. If that was the case, 
every hair product would have an issue at some point because people are loyal. So now let's talk about a more scientific approach. There's some things that I like, there's some things that I don't. One of them is when I looked at my old products, ingredients compared to my new products, there was a slight difference in the original no poo. One of the ingredients that I found was this ingredient right here. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it because I'm gonna pronounce it wrong. But it is a formaldehyde releasing preservative. Preservative is what gives it a longer shelf life. But formaldehyde in high heat can then change up the formula and then act like a relaxer. You mean to tell me it's possible that we were putting a relaxer on our curly hair, like the enemy of curly hair? that's bad that's really bad so some people think that once again these are not confirmed these are just the theories right now because nothing is really confirmed yet but some people think that these products might be stored in non ventilated warehouses or something where it's too hot and that's why it's affecting the product later after it leaves the lab like it's already packaged and ready to go so by the time you buy it you just bought yourself a $32 bottle of relaxer Another thing about the ingredients that I think is pretty interesting is, well, one, Diva Curl has been bought by a larger company. They've been sold and bought, I think, at least three times. The most recent time was in 2019. So when you think about a larger company buying a smaller company and you're outsourcing to maybe create more product in a higher volume, there could be some discrepancy within the ingredients now. Now, Diva Curl did release a statement saying that their ingredients haven't changed. But here's the thing. For example, let's say you buy an apple from the 99 cent store and then someone else buys an apple from Whole Foods. It's very possible that the Whole Foods apple is a better, healthier, non-chemically polluted apple versus the one that you got from the 99 cent store. But at the end of the day, when you make your apple pie, your ingredient says apple, but we don't know where that apple actually came from. So that is where the FDA comes in. And my friend, and also curler influencer, Penny Tovar, did a whole video on this topic as well, and she really broke down how the FDA doesn't regulate the cosmetic industry as it should. So it could be possible that they are getting their ingredients now from a different supplier, which is now affecting the formula overall. Could be possible. FDA doesn't regulate it. Diva Curl is not going to regulate it. How in the world is the consumer supposed to really know what's going on? This isn't just for hair products. This is for makeup, all cosmetics. And one of the last theories that I saw that could be possible is that it could be a bad batch. And that's why it only is affecting some people, but not all. Or maybe people are buying the Diva Curl products from unauthorized retailers. This was always a thing even beforehand where some people were buying Diva Curl products at like Walmart, CVS, Walgreens, random places where they weren't supposed to be sold and apparently it was fake product. Could be possible. But here's the issue with that. Some of my very close influencer friends have had issues and I know for a fact that they were not buying these Diva Curl products from CVS, Walgreens, or anywhere because they were actually being sent products straight from Diva Curl. Like, couldn't get more pure than that. So that kind of rules out that notion as well. And the last theory that is very commonly being spoken about is that it's not a Diva Curl product. Hair loss has definitely happened way before now. Like, this isn't a new thing, so it could be your age. It could be postpartum. It could be menopause. It could be you are allergic to the products. It could be a health issue that you may have. And honestly, when I first heard about this, that's what I chucked it up to. I, I didn't know what was going on. And I just thought that it's very possible that this person might have a particular allergic reaction or health issue that they're going through. And that was my first initial reaction. But I will say that out of the 50,000 people in the Facebook group, do I think every single person is having issues solely because of Diva Curl? No. Could they have had issues and Diva Curl made it worse? Yes. And I also believe that there are people that have solely been affected 
only due to diva curl now yes correlation does not always equal causation but there's just so many people and so many similarities that you have to think that something is up now let me read you some of the common concerns that i saw over and over again in the comments it seemed like a lot of people were using the diva curl no poo a lot of people started noticing their issues in 2019 going back to people saying that you know you should have been clarifying better well there were cases of people that only used the ultra defining gel they didn't even use the shampoo so what are you gonna say about that so that was interesting and some people even use the styling cream i did read styling cream i didn't see super cream Maybe I, I mean, I didn't read every single comment, but styler wise, it looks like the ultra defining gel and maybe the styling cream were the two most commonly used products that possibly had an issue. People are claiming that it happened immediately after one use, after just two months of use, they notice a difference in their hair. A lot of people are getting migraines. So now this is going past hair and past scalp. And is affecting some people with severe migraines their ears are ringing um, huge dry red itchy patches flaking rashes yeah like people are going to the dermatologist and the dermatologist is like I don't know and some people are even going to neurologists now like it's getting that bad and the interesting part about that is of course you could have all these issues without ever touching a diva curl bottle but a lot of these people claim that they were perfectly fine before it happened while using the diva curl products and unfortunately there are some people that stopped using diva curl products and now their migraines and flakiness and headaches and rashes all that is now gone interesting so unfortunately as of right now all of this is speculation educated guesses possible theories i honestly don't even think diva curl knows the facts but i can tell you right now there is a class action lawsuit happening right now people are suing and what people are saying to do is to not throw away your bottles because that's basically evidence and diva curl did release a statement saying that they tested all their products and everything checks out and hey maybe that's true but maybe it's because they're not checking the products of the victims that were affected I don't know if they did or not they haven't said it but i would love for there to be a real serious testing on the products that people have been using check those bottles not the ones that are already like stored properly in the office or the lab or wherever you got them but i do know what these other losses happening those batches are being tested by third-party companies other scientists that are not associated with diva curl so now we wait apparently it's not easy to do and it's not something that could be done overnight all this testing is going to take time so i'm really hoping we get answers sooner than later but right now everyone is just guessing so now let's talk about the solutions let me show you some people that have sent me photos these are some of my curl friends my subscribers and here's a picture right here. This is her hair before using Diva Curl products. And this is now her hair after. These are the kind of pictures that shock me is when your curl pattern is just like completely gone. Like how? How could that happen? I need answers. But fortunately, the same girl was able to recover her curls after one or two months of totally stopping using Diva Curl, she said. She claims to have done a lot of rice water rinses, apple cider vinegar rinses to cleanse. She did protein treatments, deep conditioned every week, and now her curls look like this. She is getting her curl pattern back, thank God. Another one of my subscribers, this is her hair while using Diva Curl products, completely flat and frizzy. Then once she stopped, switched out her products, boom. These are her curls now. Another example, isn't as easy of a transition. Here's an example of a beautiful girl with amazing curly hair that used Diva Curl products for two years, she said. And then she started noticing a problem on her very itchy scalp. Her hair would get extremely frizzy and then starting in December, 2019, her hair started to change 
and now it looked like this. Completely ruining her curl pattern, which looks more like what I see when people have heat damage and they're trying to transition. But this is like an opposite backwards transition that just doesn't make any sense. But she said she just didn't have the patience to try to recover it, so she just did a big chop. And that's what a lot of people are doing. So to the people that are saying, oh, I'm just not gonna trust influence anymore because whatever they promote is gonna make my hair fall out. One, that doesn't make any sense. I don't know why you would choose to go into a store and buy something blindly versus seeing it in action in a YouTube video. But in this case, these are two very high on the top of the charts of curly hair influencers with damaged hair. Like why would they literally damage their own hair if they knew that this was gonna happen. No one knew this was gonna happen. We don't work at the company, we don't make the formulas. We just knew that we loved it at some point and we were happy to share it with you guys because it worked for us, therefore we wanted it to work for you. So now that we know that it's not working for us anymore, I think it's also our responsibility to let you know that it's no longer working and there are risks. And that's why I'm making this video so if there is something going on, that you don't risk your curls. Whew, that was a lot. I have no idea how long this video is gonna be, but if it's long, thank you for watching until the end. But the last thing that I wanna say, which is probably the most frustrating part of this whole thing, is that I created my channel to help people with curly hair. Everything that I recommend is because I personally used it and have seen amazing results from it. And I work really hard to convince many of you to attempt to love your hair, to stop straightening it, and to just enjoy your natural hair. And I know how hard it is for you guys to do my challenges, my no heat challenge, my deep conditioning challenge every week. It's tough. So for me to know that you put in all that effort to get your curls to where they are, and you said, hey, I'm gonna save up and I'm gonna spend extra money on this high-end curly hair product because that's how dedicated I am to my hair only for it to literally backfire and make it almost worse than your before photos, for this to make your hair look like you still straightened it, like you don't deep condition ever, that is what like literally kills me because I know how hard you worked to get your curls back. And for you to lose it all is just, it's extremely, frustrating. If I care any more information, you guys will be the first to know. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'm much quicker to post things on my story than I am here on YouTube. But if I have any vital information about this case, I will make sure to update you. In the meantime, this year I did choose to do a hair growth challenge. So if we need to get your curls to grow back after you big chop them, that's what we're going to do. If you need me to find other products that you guys can use, you guys know that I review products every week and I do care about the ingredients. So let's just try to stay positive. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys learned a thing or two, maybe gained some perspective on how things are really going down. If so, give me a thumbs up. You also can follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee where you will get the quickest updates about this whole Diva Curl thing. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today. Yeah.